Hey everyone, welcome back to SSX. I'm in Cedic. With me on this video is Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. Turo. I am here now. And Zindictive. Sup, lads. And we are headed to Patagonia. Hey team, welcome back. Next stop for us, Patagonia. Our target descent here is the north face of Fitzroy. And at 3,375 meters, it's one of the steepest faces in the world. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a ton of riding to do between now and then. And Elise, baby, this one is all yours. But you gotta know this. It's a crazy labyrinth. Wicked rock spires, twisting canyons, and knife edge ridge runs that'll rotate your stomach. Oh, there are a few unexpected surprises as well. To SSX, this is a vacation spot, and it's the perfect place to do a little wing sailing. Because with breaks and gaps the size of football fields out there, no line is the easy way down. The road to conquering the deadly descent isn't paved with sunshine and roses, which means it's just the kind of road SSX likes to travel. Gravity's Man. going to fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, Man. it will. We I went mean, from trees to ice to literally the freaking gravitational pull. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the gonna get gravitational you. pull of the Earth. Yeah. <laughs> when you least expect it, you're gonna fall out of bed and then you'll be dead. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you ever been lying in bed and suddenly feel like you're falling? And yeah, then yeah. You back gravity up and you're coming like, after you. Why? What is my life? You, yeah, it's gravity. <laughs> it's coming after you. It's always watching. That's why you need a wingsuit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, wingsuit into bed. I'm yeah. gonna be honest, I don't really like this new presentation that much compared to the the old ones of the old game. Like I don't know, there's just something like like weird and cold about this new like high tech presentation, you know what I mean? I mean we well, are skating on snow. I think yeah. that is the point, but also that's sort of what the first SSX was trying to do with its menus at least. I guess. Hmm. That's sort of what they thought was I didn't play like, that you know. One. New future, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it just—it feels more like in line with like Gears of War than it does like a cool snow. Well, this was game, 2012. I yeah, I, 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 I feel think like it probably was a product of his yeah, time. Yeah, I feel yeah. like this game was trying to be a bit more serious, much like the first game kind of was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah that's, here we that's are. Matt's, in that's Matt's thoughts on presentation of games he's never played before. Yeah, welcome to Patagonia. It is uh, wild. Because, you yeah. know, you're always on these, you know, thin paths with, well, you know, steep drops to your death on both sides. And though we don't have the wingsuit yet, it's still something you gotta watch out for. Mm. Uh, and then when we get the wingsuit, they'll be introducing us to stuff where not only do you need to keep a good line, but you also need to, you know, cross these football field-sized gaps, as it yeah. said. I, I will say, other than the the cold presentation, I really like the graphics. This looks really good to me. I like yeah, this. this is a really this is a this pretty is a really good, good looking, looking game. game, especially yeah. in 2012. I think this looks a lot better than some other games I remember coming out in 2012. Yeah, I do have to question how the fuck anyone's able to make these rails <laughs> very like, carefully. They're yeah, very really carelessly. off the cliff. How are sometimes. people putting these flares here? Well, I mean, there's a little thing, it's called like a, a an SDK, you know, a Source Development Kit. Oh, oh, yeah. okay, yeah. They they I thought you were going to talk about drones or some shit, you know? <laughs> oh drones. God. They're outsourcing our snowboard into, like, AI and whatever, you know? <laughs> Do you think God oh, has good. an SDK for the Earth? Whoa. Damn. Damn. So, question, is this mountain made out of rock or out of plane? Uh, uh both. both. It, both. it sucks we'll planes in, it's the true Bermuda Triangle. You know, yeah. the Bermuda Triangle is one of those things where, as a kid, you think oh, it's the shit. coolest shit. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, no, this this does not work. This rail to, you know, ledge outcropping does not work. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah, you think, like, as a kid, it's like the Bermuda Triangle is awesome, it and fine. then it's, like, not actually anything. You know. Damn. That's oh, some good foresight from the developers. Yeah. It's like they knew you weren't going to make that. Instead of fixing the jump, they were just like, yeah, we'll put a rail I'll here. just put a rail here. Yeah. Under It'll it. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Forget about it. I don't know. That, that is, like, one of the very specific disappointing parts of this, though. Because that never works like I think it should. And I'm just yeah. like, oh. It's a little awkward. I will say, I don't know what it is, but there's something that's very satisfying about the tail grab tweak in this game. Like, the way you sort of push your legs out and just spin around, yeah. it looks very cool. Oh, definitely Don't agree. Even. It's like mm -hmm. you do a sick profile or something. But yeah, we got yeah. Elise. 60 
you just can't keep a girl away. You, you just can't, can't do it. Yeah. yeah. You can't do it. Yeah. yeah. Some girls are born to wingsuit, you know. <laughs> you can't do All it. All girls born after 1993 know is wingsuit off yeah. mountain. <laughs> if you Tell love lie, something, not, set yep. it free. And if it's someone and they wingsuit away from you, you're never getting them back. Yeah, Damn. no, they're, they're gone. Especially because the wingsuit in this game is rather easily exploitable. Yeah, I, in some I pretty saw fun like, ways. I saw like what Play For You showed me beforehand, and it's just like, it is insane how much you can get a use out of that wingsuit. Yeah, wingsuits are probably the most versatile piece of equipment. It actually being able to apply them to a lot of the rest of the game and, uh, you know, do things that maybe the developers intended, maybe they didn't. You know, sure, you'll be activating it to land on the next part of ground here in Patagonia, but, you know, once you get really high level and get up some good mods and such, you can go use the wingsuit on, like, any other mountain range, any other level, and start clearing large portions of the track, doing crazy shortcuts. Yeah. It's definitely a lot more applicable than, you know, some of the other Deadly Descent gimmicks, uh, you'll see. Yeah. I like that every single person here had to individually come in their own helicopter. The kind of come in style. Like, they got just the imagine being the first one here, them. and then having to sit around and wait for everyone else in their helicopter to yeah. show up. <laughs> yeah, do you think it's like, sorry guys, one person only, or do you think the other three, like, got up here early and Elise is late? I don't know. <laughs> I like to imagine that actually wanted to come in, in style. That's all. They chartered yeah. their own helicopter, and that's why they have to crowdfund this thing because they're spending <laughs> all their money on helicopters. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's... Oh shit, yeah. Simon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there he's he back is, my boy. He's one of my favorites. I like he's Simon. the full Canadian, oh. Canadianification version of yeah, Simon. Canadian. He's, he's Canadian. just the Canadian. Canadian now. He's not even. <laughs> he's uh, a normal person. Yeah. Just, just a Canadian. Yeah. I don't have a joke to go along with that. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I don't know shit about Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently in Canada they spell uh, Simon with a P. Oh, yeah. They I spell mean, because again, because again, like Simon with an S I M O N, bad, lame, member of Alvin and the Chipmunks. You know, Simon <laughs> with a P S Y M O N, cool. You know, awesome. Yeah. Would get yes, electrocuted on power lines. Insane but radical. But okay, I guess like to the people who also have played this game, I'd I'd like to hear your thoughts on like the wingsuit. Because yeah, it's cool. But after thinking about it a bit, I'm obviously trying to be positive, you know, for these playthroughs and such, and also because I knew what I was going to need to do coming back. But if you go into this game thinking, oh, oh my god, you're dead, I should have put in like blood there or something. If you go into this game thinking like, okay, it's just going to be regular snowboarding, you know, going off jumps, doing tricks, landing and such. It, there's a lot you'll have to deal with that maybe might not expect and might not be able to do very well that will impede you because like you have to beat Patagonia to move on and so if you absolutely can't handle like the wingsuit because it does act a little wonky or you know staying on the path because hey the characters having really sensitive turning can get you out of danger just as well as it can accidentally put you in it um it it can be a roadblock where yeah. again I knew what I needed to do I knew this was coming, and even then, I, you'll see across this, I still struggle with, like, uh, <laughs> you, you know, you needing to be more precise because of things like death pits on both sides of the track and such. So, yeah, yeah I guess, what do you think about bleak suits and such? I mean, I, I think they're pretty fun, but they definitely... They, you definitely, what the dark, fuck? like, get a better hang of them. What is that thing? Oh, it's a ghost. Oh, they got yeah, ghosts it's... in this game, so this game is haunted. But, like, yeah, once you are able to afford the better wingsuits, uh, it definitely becomes more fun to use. Because running out of wingsuit ability, like, halfway across a chasm... Uh, that's is... Griff Simmons' ghost. He's your rival in World Tour, and so it's like, we got his ghost data. We want you to race against oh, him. Oh, okay. At least better than him. It, it's gotcha. to set up that, you know, in online mode, you can race against your friends' Where ghosts. Are you go Where are you going? Is it a sh I need to return to my home planet. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so so yeah, this is what, what it's like to be killed. Wait, so you have to restart? Yeah. Just the yeah. level. You have to restart the entire level if you fall off? Whoa. I mean, you can rewind. Yeah. Okay, it's just but like, you have limited rewinds. But, 
well, limited rewinds in surviving events. Not limited in regular racing and tricking, but you lose points as a penalty, and in race, the AI doesn't rewind with you. They keep going. And right, it's right, limited right. So, because so, Prince so of Persia. Like, survival is, quote-unquote, survival. Like, not falling off the track is, like, a bigger emphasis Yeah. in this game. You'll just see as it goes along. I mean, like, yeah. so, like, to get back to the point, and I, I just want to make sure... It, you know, it gets harped on just enough for me to acknowledge it. Like, Turo, you mentioned, I think, that, like, the first time you played this, you couldn't get past Patagonia. It was yeah, just no, it, too much to try and do as well, and so you missed out on a big part of the game. Yeah, I put the game down, and I didn't come back to it for, like, another three years or so. At hmm. which point, I, yeah, I still did have difficulty with it, but I remember it was a... not only, it, it wasn't like a difficulty curve, it was a pretty big difficulty spike. Like, I remember the rest of the game not quite being as hard up until, like, the very end. Mm. Yeah, I think probably, and again, I'm just trying to think of this in terms of... I don't want to say the average person, because, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I was born and raised in extreme sports games. But yeah, like, for me, like, yeah, staying on track and dealing with Patagonia was... Maybe not the toughest compared to stuff like Africa and, you know, the headlamps with lava pits. Um, that was yeah. certainly a lot more like I'd keep overcorrecting and finding myself falling into pits while trying to not fall into a different pit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean... <sighs> yeah, you could have picked this right after the Rockies, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, was, I did. I I beat the Rockies and I went straight to Patagonia what? and got what my is that ass rail handed to into me. a wall. That's a great because rail. it wants to. Because um, <laughs> that was sort of more optional. I had to hold left trigger to grind it since it was a uh, you know sharply defined side of an outcropping rather than a big red rail that you get magnetized to. Uh -oh. But yeah, like like wingsuits will suddenly kind of kick you around and. It it, it, yeah. it obviously isn't like, I don't know, flying a jet in another yeah. game. But it has like a weight to it. Like you're not you're not like you in complete control the whole time. Oh, are you gonna clutch up? Oh So it's not like uh like just calls uh three no, swingsuit or no, anything. No, no just calls four. It's not like either of those at all. Yeah. You're meant to get around with those wingsuits, not sort of at least try to aim yourself in the direction you're trying to go. Those wingsuits are fun in that game, though. Yeah, the wingsuit in this game well, is pretty fun. they're fun whenever they work in Just Cause 4, but that could be said about Just Cause 4 in general. It's fun whenever yeah. it works. Yeah, Just Cause is interesting. I will say <laughs> that uh, when it comes to an extreme sports game of an SX variety that has sort of gliding, hovering around sort of things... I feel like I've now got an experience with a different game that might help me out a little bit if I was to play this shit. Uh, Cyclone Circus is the game. Uh, oh, I thought you were going to talk about, like, Riders Republic. I nah. thought you were going to talk about Which, Jet like, I'll give a shout out. I wasn't going to give Riders Republic the time of day because I didn't really like Steep. So I didn't, like, try to get into the beta or such. But, like, seeing f footage from the beta and seeing such, uh, Riders Republic actually looks kind of good. I think it would be fun. I'm looking yeah, forward I, to it. Yeah. I thought it was a fun-looking game, honestly. So, yeah. yeah I have no idea yeah. what it is, but yeah, it sounds They're cool. writers, and they've started a republic. Oh, so they have, like, their own little country. That's kind of cool. Good yeah. Them. Hmm. I, that was a joke, I think, on the name of the game. I don't know if they actually, like, overtook part of, like, the Rocky Mountains and made I'd their own country. I'd be surprised if the fun-intending game where you do a lot of extreme sports actually has, like, a serious political storyline <laughs> where these writers have oh, overthrown a country Man. and established their own republic. <laughs> okay, like, I don't understand the assassination attempt thing that you have to do sometimes. <laughs> like, uh, it has its entire panel that shows up. Like, am I playing fucking Crusader Kings? <laughs> Like, I do the extreme sports shit, and then I have to pick a political rival to take out? Like, what is this? Transition yeah. flawlessly from, uh, you know, skiing to BMX to political assassination. <laughs> like, I don't Finally. understand, man. Whose idea was this? Fucking Finally, dumb. SSX to a, with Assassin's Creed gameplay. Finally, my favorite country. Like, there's an entire tab for economy. Why do I need that in my <laughs> sports game? I don't, yeah. I don't get yeah. it. I don't understand. Not get me. all the gold medals while also maintaining your country's GDP. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. I Build up your republic kind of to make it the best republic. <laughs> you can get your republic invaded by other people online. 
Yes. You know, like Metal Gear Solid 5. <laughs> oh You're basically God. building up your own mother base again. <laughs> or Outer Heaven, or whatever that oil rig was called. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, it's hard ruling the Republic. Yeah. It's tricky. Yeah, they bash an extreme sports game and Tropico together. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh. Extreme sports are your export. It's like Colorado. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know you could do that! Yeah, yeah, you can grind the helicopter. It's awesome. Is that why it follows you everywhere? Yeah. Yeah, it yep. follows you down the mountain. It's Although, fucking cool. It, I like how it also like, followed me off the cliff. It's like a set piece, like it'll only be in range off of certain jumps or so, like you can see yeah. it's like way ahead now. And <laughs> yeah. it's gone. It's great though seeing the helicopter try to catch up if you're like going really fast. Yep. Extremely fast helicopter moving at incredibly, incredibly high, high speed. speeds. Incredibly yeah. big speed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fuck your own, Moby! Out. Fuck out, Moby! <laughs> fuck Get you! The fuck out of here! Your music Focus suck, on you, your Moby. abilities! Yeah. Hey, I I liked that one song that was in that Jason Bourne movie. That was that was really good. I liked that Moby song. Yeah, actually, I like Moby's music. I was just joking. <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd come around. Oh shit! It's the Fitz. Yeah, Fitzroy ripped the lines. I had to go for right. a second I, I, on that joke. I, I still don't get, get it, but okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is the uh, broken, broken elbow. elbow. Yeah. yeah. This is this is the level that made me put the game down. My favorite girl talk EP, Broken Elbows. <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Gravity. Oh, where's the makes street me dirt, want to huh? go back there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to be killed by Isaac Newton. <laughs> he's yeah. coming for you. He's, he's coming, he's coming Damn. for you. How you traveling out there, Elise? Right behind you, wizard. How about a little follow the leader? <laughs> this one's all yours. Good luck. Chicken, huh? All right. See you at the bottom. That was all a right, fucking then. risk. <laughs> Yeah. It was cool, Matt, but that fuck. would have been it. Well, I if, mean, I already sent her through the helicopter blades earlier this episode. That's true. Yeah. So I've already how, she's shown immune to helicopters. It's it. just, you know, yeah. it's kind of like yeah. how some people that's, build up their immunity the to bullets. She's built up her immunity to helicopters. That's the tenth deadly descent to helicopters. She is the superwoman of SSX. <laughs> You, like, I mean, again, like anyone, I feel like anyone who makes these kind of jumps and doesn't die is like helicopters are nothing to them. Yeah, yeah. no, right. It's like I always thought it was weird how I could jump off the building in uh, Infamous and go down to the very bottom and just roll away and be fine, but like bullets would somehow hurt me. Yeah, <laughs> it's that's like true. A, like a fallen at a what's the name of that? Like um. Where you can't go any faster in the air because you've hit max speed. Uh, terminal really velocity. Hey, yeah, falling at terminal velocity yeah. from the fucking top of a skyscraper doesn't kill me. Nothing should be able to now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, out of all the threats that this game can really throw for an SSX game, gravity sure is the least threatening of them all. Yeah, like, even though this yeah, is one weird. of the harder... Again, this is one of the harder deadly descents. Yeah. So this is a really early one, too? Yeah. And then it's, like, harder than the rest of them? Yeah, I, I mean, to me, and I'm not trying to make this like an insult. This this course is designed to where like, yeah, you you need to wingsuit off of these, but you only need to wingsuit a little bit. Like they're always just far enough to like not be able to jump with just like a level three character, like your Elise would be here. Um, yeah. But like, there's certainly much harder levels. Uh, like again, the ones on the the optional ones that are on like peak two that you don't do in World Tour, but you can do and you know explore and stuff like code blue or um some of the other ones that are a lot harder intentionally mm. than this one like mm, this yeah. one actually again like every jump yeah you maybe need to wingsuit a little bit but nothing will like really push you as a confusing line at least to me you know what i just realized this game's arch tower reminds me of that dark is it dark descent you know what Dark I'm talking about? The no. snowboarding game? No, no do I, not degrade like, this with game. The, with the shit, with the with the with the stuff on the snow. Dark you know? Summit. I was that's yeah, just like Dark marks, not paint. Oh my god. But you know what I mean? That's what it kind of looks like to me. Hey folks, Atomica here with an update on the race to conquer the deadly descents. 
Seems the death-defying heroics of rebellious daredevil Griff Simmons have really started to captivate audiences around the world. He's been astounding people with his amazing talents, and he's currently leaving SSX in his spray. Wonder what Team SSX is gonna do to get back in this thing. <laughs> okay. Damn. Griff's coming out the TV. That shit was like way over edited. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I like liked it. it, but I like I don't it. Know. Oh shit! Oh shit! The Himalayas. Right, well, I'm not. I'm not saying this game is anywhere comparable to to Dark Summit. Just the stuff on the oh, come snow on, and the general okay. art style just kind of reminds me of Dark Summit. That's this, all. Yeah. So we've got three places in the world we can go to next. Uh, you know, Himalayas, Alaska, or Antarctica. We'll be going to the Himalayas next uh, with Kaori. We'll be dealing with, you know, low oxygen is the next deadly descent here. Oh, on damn. SSX. 